Sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. What's up, YouTube? I wanted to go for another comparison video here uh, between the iManifold, the Testo Smart Probes, and the Sporland Smart Service Tool. iManifold is zeroed. Smart probes are zeroed, and the Sporlin is not zeroed quite yet. Let me back up just because I don't remember what that was. There we go. We're basically zeroed on that one. But what I'm going to do is take all of the probes and put them in Ziploc bags and put them in the freezer and uh, just show how they change with temperature so right now you know we're pretty close we got 72.9 on the Sporlin 71.9 on the Testo and 73.6 so we're gonna put them in bags and stick them in the freezer okay got the Testos the Sporlin and the I manifold in with the El Monterey burritos and the rump roast and a couple of other things some Tejas Tojost so we're gonna close that up and then we're gonna sit here and watch the temperatures we've already lost the Sporlin because it's inside the freezer there it is again we'll get it we'll put it closer to the freezer the Testo is maintaining connection and the I-manifold is next. We'll see if I can get a place where this will allow us to watch the system over an extended period. Right now we're trending the liquid line temperature on the I-manifold to be able to watch that drop as the temperature changes inside. You can see it's starting to drop already. This one's showing a drop as well and that one's lower than it was a minute ago.
Next section, we've got the oven on, and we've got all of the probes hanging above the oven, and we're going to see what the temperatures do and the pressures do at that point. At least this time around, we won't have the trouble of the freezer breaking connectivity.
All right. So I'm really curious to get your guys' opinion and your thoughts on what we just witnessed with the systems running across the range of temperatures. Um, the Sporlin didn't perform very well when it was in the freezer especially because it kept dropping signal. The Testo dropped a few times but it seemed to have a little bit better luck staying connected. Um, and it, interesting to me to see the fluctuations based on temperature. They didn't seem to really have a significant correlation to specific temperatures to pressures. But um, I'd really like to see your guys' feedback on all that. Um, I had borrowed the Testo probes from a buddy of mine that I'd sold them to so I could do this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Yeah.